Stand aside. Let me take a crack at him. No, no, please. Not well enough alone. Yes, if the Phantom insists on peace, let us comply with it, too. Well, you're not beginning to believe that Phantom bunk, are you? Bunk or not, his order certainly got us out of a nasty situation. I think we can go on now with safety. Thank him. Hold on! Come on, get in. Get in. Goodbye, old fellow. And this time, you stay put. See that he stays here. And don't worry. I'm not going to miss the trail this time. He's very brave and strong. He was the successor to his great father. But he has much to learn. Follow him and be ready if he needs your help. I told you I wanted Davidson and his party captured. And I didn't want you coming back with any phony excuses about the Phantom still being alive. Shorter, sorry. But drums say Phantom not dead. Shorter want to go on, but warrior's afraid. Maybe next time, Shorter do better. There ain't gonna be any next time. I'm going after Davidson myself. Hey, you guys. All right, break it up, boys. Come on, we got things to do. Come on, come on, let's hustle. Phantom! Phantom, come! Phantom, come! Phantom! Phantom! Phantom, come! Phantom! Welcome to Mala Village, O oh Great One. We're very happy you honor us with visit. Why did you not attend the meeting of the tribal chiefs? Evil white men in Mala Village would not let Choda attend. Are they here now? No, no, they leave, go far away. Choda tell them he no wants such men in Mala Village. Who are they, traitors? Choda not know. One day they come to Mala Village. They stay and make much trouble. Choda get very angry and say he will tell Phantom. Evil white men fear goes to walks, so they leave. Everyone. Choda, you have lied. No, no. Choda thought all white men had gone. Choda never lied to Phantom. Spirit of fire. If Choda has lied, burn down Malda village. Oh, Master, Choda never lie again. Please tell men to put out fire. Save Mala village from burn down. Put out the fire. Shut up. Yes. Any more white men hiding out here? No, Master. He or one left. All the rest have gone. Where do they go? They go to meet Safari coming through jungle. They want to see what three white men and pretty girl are looking for. Where is that Safari heading for? On trail to Longo Village. You keep him prisoner until they return. Yes. Remember your orders. Get the natives first. All right, boys. Scatter in behind those rocks. Shot. Yes, we're not up against natives this time. Look, Byron. The boulder at the edge of the brush.
you hit? It's going, serious. Keep firing. face. Mark of the Phantom. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to tangle with him again. Come on, Grogan. We're getting out of here. I can see if we have any porters left. The jungle renegades won out? Is the Davidson Safari doomed? What are Dr. Bremer's plans? Don't fail to see A Traitor's Code, the next thrilling episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. Phantom discovers that a number of white outlaws plan to attack the Davidson expedition. He manages to rescue the safari and is pursuing the jungle desperados when suddenly...
How did you happen to come this way? Moku out hunting. Why you come here, Master? I was chasing some renegades who had attacked Davison's expedition. Footprints lead the Mala village. We follow? Later. First, I must make sure that the professor and his party are all right. Hasn't been a shot now for five minutes. Oh. I'd better check and see how many men we have left. Let me look at your arm. Oh, it's nothing. I wonder why they stopped so suddenly. Another few minutes, they would have got all of us. The Phantom saved us. I saw him fight with those men. The Phantom? Why, that's absurd. He's only a legend the stupid natives believe in. You're upset, my dear. And let your imagination get the best of you. I'm sorry. I must disagree with that. We meant no offense. We sincerely appreciate your help. Thanks for rescuing us. Master. Master. Moko find three white men lying in jungle. Shall Moko kill them? No. Take them to Tonga Village, so that I may judge them. Yes, Master. I suggest you camp here until I can send you new porters to take the place of those you lost. Wait, I want to ask you a few questions. Some other time. I'm certain we'll meet again before long. Say, he works fast, doesn't he? He reminds me of someone we all know. But I just can't place him. Hiruka! Hiruka! Oh, Hiruka! Oh, Oh. Now listen, Chota. Chota don't want to talk to you. Phantom finds you here, he burned down Mala village. You go now. We won't leave here till you find us a new hangout. And if you get tough about it, you won't have to worry about the Phantom burning down this joint. We'll do it ourselves. Oh, come on, Taloko! Stadikako! Shikamosa Tukwa! Stadikako! Oh. No. Chota say go. But where else in this jungle can we hide out? Chota no care. You go now. Now listen to me, Chota. Give us a break, will you? We've got to find mm. a place. You go to Blackie's. Tell him Phantom sent you. Ghost who walk, never look for you there. Say, that might be smart play. Okay, Chota. We'll go. But remember, if the Phantom shows up, you ain't seen us. Chota no fool. Chota no want trouble. You don't take him. Shut up. Who locked you up in there? Choto. The Phantom made him promise not to let me go. The Phantom? Yeah. Why, I thought he was. Look at the trademark he slapped on him. Well, here's your chance to make a getaway. No. You don't take him. Phantom say he stay here. You said he should go with us, didn't you? He go with you. Well, what are you waiting for? You want to keep on living, Chota. You better not try to follow us. <laughs> Me fix him other time. Eighty cases of ammunition. Check. Twenty cases of hand grenades. Check. Two hundred rifles. Check. Oh, Miller, come in. Yeah, hello, Doc. Meet Council Lento. How do you do? How do you do? Miller is one of my best and most valuable aides. He's the manager of the Trade Winds Hotel. An excellent spot to pick up information, I'd say. Salento's bringing us the weapons to arm the natives with. Well, that is good news. Yes, in a few days, there'll be so much fighting in the jungle, no white man will dare to enter it. But I hear there's a Professor Davidson in there now. Aren't you afraid he might stumble onto your secret air base? I'm certain that he's already returning to Saipana. Dead or alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, either way is all right with me. I wonder how much longer we'll have to sit around this place. Hello? What's this? I bring new porters like Phantom promised. Excellent. 
Assign them their packs, Larkin, and we'll get started again. All right. Tell your master we appreciate his help. Phantom say Moko guide you on journey. That's fine. But Mr. Larkin is guiding us to Longo Village, and I... Uh... You'll be in good hands with this man, Professor. He knows the jungle better than I do. And with this arm of mine, I... Yes, yes, of course. You'd better go back to Saipana and have it attended to. Mr. Smith ordered me to stay with you, Oh, but... don't worry about that. I'm sure we can manage for a while without you. You'd better go. Thanks. I'll try and rejoin you at the Longo Village. Uh, take one of the porters to carry your belongings. All right, I will. Can we reach the Longo Village by night? No, too far. Tonight, camp at Blackie's. Who's Blackie? He trap animals for Rusty. Good man, friend of Phantom. Very well. Get your porters loaded and we'll be on our way. You know, there's one thing that's got me worried. Yeah, what? Supposing the Phantom should make Joe to tell him that we took this trail and are heading for Blackie's. Well, that'd be just too bad for us. And I ain't anxious to meet him again. Phantom! 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 Phantom, come! Phantom! Phantom, come! Phantom! Welcome, all goes to walks. Man who never died. I have died. no time for any palaver now. Where is that man I asked you to hold? Where is he? He escaped. He found gun and... Yeah, you lie. No, master. May my staff become a servant if Choda lies. <sighs> Where is he? Other white men come back, find him, then take him away. They take trail to Blackie's. Choda tell truth now. We shall see. Pick up your stick. <sighs> Now I know you spoke the truth. But should you ever lie to me again, you shall all suffer for it. <laughs> Did you leave the professor's party? I told you to stay with them. Professor and friends, prison is at Blackie's place. At Blackie's? Yes, master. Moko takes the fatty there. Blackie very glad. Start cook feast. Then bad men come. Kill Blackie. Kill porters. How far is it to Blackie's from here? If hurry, can get there by sundown. Then let's not waste time. <laughs> with old Blackie out of the way, what do you say we take off for his fur business, eh? You can have it, Marson. Yeah, I'll say. Thunder head arrow, see? Look, Professor, he's been hit with an arrow. Sandy! Thank heaven you got here. Where's your niece? In that last hut. But they have a native woman guarding her. Where's the rest of his gang? In Blackie's hut, the one on stilts. Hurry up, Moku, and wait for me near that last hut.
figurey face. Stay out here and keep your eyes peeled. Take care of the phantom. Will the saboteurs rule the jungle now? Will Professor Davidson learn of Larkin's treachery? What brings this man of mystery to Saipana? Don't miss the seat of judgment the next breathtaking episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. Fearing that Professor Davidson and his associates will learn of his secret plans, Dr. Bremer has his men capture the expedition. The Phantom comes to the rescue and gives battle to the enemy, when suddenly...
going to take care of the Phantom. It's a slip, all right. Don't shoot! Me, Golden! What's the idea of taking a shot at me? How'd I know it was you? Well, we gotta get out of here. We'll head back to Saipan and tell Bremer the Phantom's dead. He's certainly gonna be madder than a hornet when he hears we didn't get those keys from Davidson. How could we get him when he didn't have them? Hold on, you got him! can't leave the Phantom like this. What, my dear? He saved us, and we have no right to run away. Come on, Byron, let's go back and help him. Get ourselves killed? All right, I'll go myself. Master! Master! I was afraid they might kill you. Remember the legend? The Phantom is the man who never dies. Again, we have to thank you for it. Right now, you must get to a place of safety. Oh, where do you suggest we go? Come to Tonga Village. From there, I can... Nonsense. It would be safer to return to Saipana. That's too far from here to make it without supplies or porters. He's right, Byron. Follow me. What are your plans now, Professor? Frankly, I don't know. I'm undecided whether it's worthwhile to go on without our map. What map? We had six pieces of ivory known as keys, which, when formed into a map, show the location of the lost city of Zolus. Yeah, if that fellow Prescott hadn't stolen it, we wouldn't be in this quandary. Who is Prescott? He was the fourth member of our party. He stole the keys and disappear the night before we left Savannah. What makes you so sure that this Prescott was a thief? He and the Keys disappeared at the same time. Even so, I don't believe Jeffrey stole them. An honest man wouldn't have left so suddenly without saying a word. Are you certain he didn't leave you a message explaining why he went away? I inquired about that at the hotel and was told he positively hadn't. But I still think you were wrong to have Singapore Smith swear out a warrant for his arrest. Master, it is time to judge the three white men who attacked the expedition. Bring them before the seat of judgment, that they may have a fair and open trial. Why did you attack the expedition? Answer me. We were paid to do it. Who hired you? Guy from Saipana. His name is Andy Chris. Why did he want you to assault the professor's expedition? He didn't tell us and we didn't ask. Why don't you stop gabbing and throw the book at us? Very well, here's my judgment. You shall be set free presently to return to Saipana. But if you ever again enter this section of the jungle, your lives will be forfeited to the Tonga tribe. Guards, these prisoners will be taken to Saipana Trail and released. almost a king with power of life and death. Master, was it wise to free those men? Yes, Suba. I'm certain they'll lead me to the man who's in back of all this. That's why I'm leaving for Saipana. Saipana? I must find the man who paid those hirelings to assault the Davidson expedition. Suba understands. Good. I won't be gone for long. Oh, uh, the guests. I'll leave them in your care. You needn't say where I've gone. And you say you're positive the Phantom is dead? No one could come out of that explosion alive. But you failed to get the keys from Davidson. I told you, I searched every one in this expedition, and none of them had anything that even looked like them. I can't understand that. Long saw Singapore Smith give them to Davidson at the hotel. Maybe the old crook double-crossed the professor and stole them back later on. Well, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, come in, Count. Count Salento, meet Andy Chris. Hello. Hi. Chris is the man I sent out to convince Davidson it would be unwise for his expedition to continue. Did the professor accept your advice? I think we stopped him from any further desire to go into the jungle. I have some good news also. The munitions arrived safely and can be picked up at the warehouse. That's fine. Chris, get your boys together and pick the stuff up at the warehouse tonight. 
Get them into the jungle right away and start arousing the natives. Right. Well, come in. Well, what are you doing inside, Phantom? Why in this disguise? There's someone here in town anxious to get rid of the Phantom and stir up the natives. That's why I came in this outfit. And the name is Walker. Mr. Walker, at your service. Now, who do you suspect? Well, maybe I'll be able to tell you about that later. Meanwhile, I want to leave Devil here with you. While I pay that thieving Smith a surprise visit. All right, I'll take care of the dog. Devil, you stay with Rusty. See you later. You bet. And a lot of good luck. Come in. I'm not intruding, Mr. Smith. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Walker. I'd like to have a look in your safe. Certainly. I'm always glad to open my safe for strangers. Now, will you open the safe? Oh. And keep your trap shut. All right. There's the money. Lay it on the floor. Yep. Take everything out and put it down beside the money. It's on the house. I'll take a rain check. I got to go in and talk to Singapore. Now, wait a minute. I'll go in with you. Insurance policies. Put them down. Hope Singapore isn't good to humor. Oh, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. He's had a grouch on all day. Well, there's everything I've got in the safe. Now, take what you want and get out. You haven't shown me what I've come after yet. Take out that little box. Just what did you come after, mister? Take off those blinkers and maybe you can see what I've got in my hand. 